there, I'm Lisa Doyle with J Rock the Real Church, and two things have changed this week that will likely make a dramatic impact on our real estate market. So I've got some things to share. Okay, so we get so many questions about everything that has to do with real estate these days. You know, so much change in the last few months, and I so hope that you are all staying safe, stay well, that you've had time to spend with your families, and um, you know, all of us doing our shelter in place um, obligations and, of course, uh, commitments. But I wanted to share with you so, this week as of yesterday, so here we are, today is Cinco de Mayo, happy Cinco de Mayo, um, May 5th. So, yesterday, the 4th of May, in our area, a real estate had always been considered essential, but every state is different. So nationally, we've been essential, but every state is different and every county is different. So California had decided at the very beginning of the shelter in place, what was it, March 12th, that real estate agents were not allowed to go into occupied properties. So we were allowed to show homes that were vacant. Uh, we could be proper protocol, of course, our gloves and proper protocol protect the clients. You know, we have our sanitizer and our masks, of course, we would wear. Um, but as of yesterday, May 4th, we now are allowed to show occupied homes with the same exact protocol, you know, keeping everyone safe, keeping the distance between us and the buyer. Um, the rules are only one realtor can go in the house at a time. Only two buyers can go in. We, of course, can't hold your traditional open houses uh, where the public comes in and out. But we are holding virtual open houses, of course, and I'll share that with you as well. But as of yesterday, we can, at, we can help our clients that have, you know, that are occupying their homes that have the desire to move. So I'm excited about that. I think this is one step in the right direction. Things are starting to open up, thank goodness, for, you know, so many industries. Um, but we are now able to help our clients. And there's another thing that's changed that will dramatically impact the way real estate is marketed. Um, it was voted on about six months ago um, in California called the Clear Cooperation Policy. Um, and I think it's regulation, MLS regulation number eight. But what they have said is that we as agents um, have to clearly cooperate, which we always have loved to do that. But we have always loved to take advantage of the, the um, idea that we could market, promote, expose, um, campaign on properties prior to the house launching on the market so that we were able to, we were able to drop enough enthusiasm, you know, energy on the home, excitement, so that the day we launched on the market, we would have a big interest. That was our purpose behind the whole coming soon commercial, coming soon campaign, you know, all of that that we do to help our clients market homes. So the new regulation states, the clear cooperation policy states that we are no longer able to do any of that to the public until the house officially goes on the market live on the multiple listing service. So we as agents can market to our fellow co-workers inside of our own company that we have homes coming for sale, which is a good advantage of being uh, with a company like Jay Rockliffe because we have a lot of great agents that we can share the listing with. Um, but we are not able to do that with the public. So I just wanted to give you guys, keep you guys posted. Um, we are, of course, changing our strategy to still maximize our exposure opportunities, and I'm excited to share that with you as soon as we uh, chat. Um, but stay safe, stay well, just know we're here to help, and if you have any questions, give me a call. I'm Lisa Doyle, and I still hope to see you soon. Take care.